everybody welcome to my channel I am working on the journal January challenge for 2024 hosted by Meg journals and I'll put a link to the introductory video in the description box so the next prompt I am working on and I'm doing these in order more or less is flow and when I see the word flow I just immediately go to water and when I think of water, I think of my granddaughter who absolutely loves the water. And then I think of the mermaids because she absolutely loves, loves mermaids. So I'm going to be combining the mermaids with the prompt flow. So I'm going to be using this page with the mermaid tail. And I love how the waves make a border there, which is also one of the next prompts coming up. And... Then the very next prompt is whimsical and I have found these little mermaids that went with this paper collection and there was a seaweed border as well. So again, the prompt of border. So just with these two pieces of paper, I have three prompts on the page and I'm okay with that, especially since my journal is getting a little small or a little tight and I need to uh, maybe condense a few things. And so, uh, Anyway, I'm thinking this is going to be really fun. It's always going to remind me of my granddaughter, and I like the whimsical nature of this. And so I'm going to uh, pull out a few things and see where this takes me. So I have this gold netting here, and I'm going to sew this around the border of the page. And then I'm going to add the little mermaid on top. And then I also found this bag of sequins and I'm thinking a few well-placed sequins would look good on the page and I like the idea of having it shimmer and sparkle like the ocean does and adding a little bling to my page. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will be right back. So I have the netting sewn onto the page and I also sewed across the waves here. And I'm thinking this looking really good. I love the bling and I know it's a bit simple, but I think for the whimsical prompt, it, it suits it very nicely. I have added a little bit of Wink Estella there on the tail and on the shells of the mermaid and also her flower. And this is really sweet. So uh, I'm going to move on to the next page and we'll see how they go together and if I need to make any adjustments to this one, but um, so far I'm literally liking it. So I've decided to end this video with this page here. The next page is going to have an interactive element. It's going to coordinate with this one, but I'm also going to have a tutorial and so I thought it'd be best to stop here. I have added this eyelash trim around the seaweed border. I think it just gives it a little more bling and a little more texture. And I think it turned out so sweet. So I have three prompts on this page. I have flow and I have whimsical with the mermaid. And then I have borders with the border here. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and make sure that you hit that notification bell so you can make sure you catch the next video with the next page. So thanks for watching. Bye.